is going to start to work on the clothing. And the thing about clothes is that you see a lot of wrinkles and you really need to just start by chunking in the, the darks that you see in the wrinkles. You're going to have to wipe your brush clean a lot here and then definitely chunk in your whitest areas because you've got to think that the, in the clothing what is closest to you in the wrinkle is going to be lightest because that's where the light is going to be hitting and anywhere that is not directly being hit by the light is going to be darker. So even though you might be wearing let's say a green shirt it's not all going to be the same green and you definitely want to be using other colors. So be creative with the colors and think about color as value. So I'm bringing in a lot of different blues here, but I have purples. I will bring in oranges and yellows and reds and chunk in those shapes of different colors. And again, using the background to just wipe some of that paint off and clean off my brush a little bit. And kind of get everything kind of just ch chunked in with your shapes. And then you can start working on blending and smoothing those together. And then you'll have this really nice even blend where it goes from the darker areas to the lighter areas. And you can get as detailed as you want with this. Like you could have it so that it looks exactly like the wrinkle that you see in the clothing. Obviously, the more time you spend on it, the more accurate it's going to look and the more realistic it's going to look. But be creative with your colors. Remember, you never have to stick to local color. I'm coming in and blending. And notice as I take my brush away, I'm wiping it off. So that's something that constantly has to happen in order to be able to not blend everything together. Uh, if this were black and white, you'd get a gray. Now you don't want to get everything the same color either. And we want to have our values. And you can see I kind of tipped this up and I'm kind of painting on the edges of this canvas because it's a stretched canvas. If you're working on a canvas panel or canvas board, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but if you do, choose to ever do a painting on a stretched canvas or stretch your own canvas, painting the sides uh, will make it so that you don't have to frame it and can save you a lot of money.